Welcome dear students to my channel Biology with Dr. Ishrat Rani. Today we are going to perform experiment on extraction, separation and identification of leaf pigment using paper chromatography technique. So now we will discuss what is extraction. Extraction is a separation technique used to separate one compound mixture from other. In the case of pigment or ink, this method is used to get the desired color from natural or any synthetic source. Now we will discuss what is chromatography. There are different types of chromatography but we will use paper chromatography. This technique is widely used to separate or purify the identified or compounds or substance between mobile and stationary phase. The more its movement the more the interaction of the substance with the stationary phase. So we use paper chromatography to identify different pigments present in leaf of plants. So now we will discuss what is pigment. A pigment is a natural coloring matter present in plant or animal cells or tissue. They are capable of changing the colors of reflected or transmitted light by different wavelengths. For example, the presence of different colors in the leaves or in the flowers of the plant. So the requirement of this experiment is obviously extraction of any leaves or plants, then any type of organic uh, solvent, and then a chromatography strip, scissors, capillary tube, pestle mortar. Pestle mortar. For grinding the spinach leaf, we will use the spinach leaf. These are the spinach leaf. You have to grind these spinach leaves by adding acetone. After that, we will have paste like extract is there. And these extract is used for identification of different pigments. Here are the requirements. And it is acetone. And here is the paper strips. These are the strips or chromatography strips and here is the jar is used to hang out this strip and in jar we will use petroleum ether then we will hang this chromatography strip in it. For, firstly you have to cut out this chromatography strip in this type and you have pointed end then mark with a pencil in the center and then you have to upload the extract or mixture we have made then like this we will hang this strip after that we will get this type of result there are two phases stationary phase and mobile phase so we will also perform this experiment and you can also use the test tube because you have the similar result if you don't have this type of jar you can also use a test tube to identify different pigments here is the movement of solvent you can see and the colors pigment light green dark green and yellow color so after that here you have to uh, measure the distance traveled by the solvent and distance traveled by different types of pigments like dark green, light green and yellow. Dark green indicating chlorophyll A, light green chlorophyll B and yellow color indicating the xanthophyll. So students here, students, here we have the setup of paper chromatography. You can see the test tube stand and there is a china dish having extract in a pint of waters and this is a strip after loading your extract and then you have to put this strip in this test tube to find out the result. So the students let's start the practical. As I have told you that we have to make the extract. This is the extract of spinach leaf and we use acetone and then we grind those leaves in pestle mortar and we have extract. You can use this type of bottle. This is opened up 
quarters these are very secure to uh, reserve your extract for long time okay then we have chromatography strip this is a blotting paper strip and you have to mark the strip from here two centimeter approximately this is a blotting paper strip and we will draw a line of two centimeter and then we mark with the pencil in the center of this chromatography strip we will use only pencil because if we use the ink pen then ink pen also have their own pigments so we always use pencil to mark that spot this is a loading spot we will load our extract over here now we will start the loading for loading you need capillary tube this so the student this is capillary tube this capillary tube will help to upload your extract over here now you will take this you will hold your strip like this and you will dip this extract and from this this is this is loaded now you will just mark on this point this is the point where we are loading our extract so you need this practice or this uploading for 10 to 20 times that you have maximum extract should be over here you will not move this capillary tube over here or there just point out a mark with pencil and use your extract in this position after 10 to 20 times up extract spinach extract and this uh, chromatography strip now we will hang this strip this is petroleum ether 9 is to 1 ratio then we will hang this strip undisturbed for 2 to 3 minutes in this test tube you can also use the jar as well just you will open this test tube and you have to dip only this pointed end after that you will see the result Now we drip that extract loaded strip and now we will see that how the solvent move towards the upper position. So here are two phases of paper, chrom paper chromatography. First one is the stationary phase and the second one is mobile phase. Now we will see how much the distance traveled by that solvent and the color of the pigments it will very much clear to you all the colors now the distance traveled by the solvent is over here you can see that here is the distance of solvent over here now i will remove this strip and will show you the different colors of pigments so the student here is the strip we mark the distance traveled by solvent over here we will measure by using this scale and from that point of loading from where we start loading okay i am measuring that from this point to this it is about 10.5 uh, centimeter so you will mark over here b is the distance traveled by the solvent you will mark 10.5 10.5 and 10.5 in all columns after that we will see that where the light yellow color or light green color or yellowish green color is ending we will mark over here and then we will measure this it's a about 4.5 centimeter here is yellow green color it indicate chlorophyll b it's 4.5 centimeter after that we will calculate the second one which is dark green color here is a light green and here is a dark green color 
we will measure this color from the point of loading it's about 6.3 cm it's a blue green or dark green color is indicating chlorophyll a after that we will see that here the yellow color which is indicating the xanthophyll we will mark and then we will measure the xanthophyll exactly from that mark it is 7.4 cm here is no carotene because we are, uh, have used the spinach pigment so after that what you will do that we will count the rf value relative flow of the solvents so a divided by b you will use 10 7.4 divided by 10.5 6.3 divided by 10.5 4.5 divided by 10.5 after that you will have the rf value of all this rf value of chlorophyll b chlorophyll a and xanthophyll there will no carotene because we have used the spinach extract so here is your result we will calculate that result after that you will mark so here is the result rf value of pigment rf value of chlorophyll a 0.6 cm rf value of chlorophyll b 0.42 cm and rf value of xanthophyll is 0.74 centimeter you have just to measure the distance traveled by solvent and the distance traveled by different types of pigment okay then you will use the formula a divided by b and then you will calculate all this and this is your result again overview of your result so for more video like share and subscribe my channel Thank you so much.